When it comes to sex education, it's always better to be educated and prepared, even if you don't plan on having sex for a while. In fact, knowing the ins and outs, pun intended, of sex, contraception, and sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, before you take that first step will help you make better decisions later in life and stay healthy. Hello and welcome to my channel where we share videos about all things puberty. From topics like this one, to issues such as anti-abduction tips for children of all ages, or the teen brain explained. If you're interested in receiving our weekly video updates, then hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's jump straight in. We all know what it's like to have feelings for our friends. For example, friends we think are funny, annoying friends, and even friends we might like more than friends. Noticing these feelings in relationships is very important because when we decide to explore more of the feelings we have for friends that we really like, we want to make sure we're safe. Sexual intercourse or sex is a big responsibility, so you want to make sure you're ready for it. It's super important to understand the dynamic that sex will have on you and your partner. You want to make sure the way you treat each other is respectful, and more importantly, consensual. Meaning you don't go through with it unless you both agree. Having an open discussion about safe sex is super important. And no, it's not like the movies, so you want to get educated. First and foremost, if you have unprotected sex, you risk unwanted pregnancy at a very early age. Another thing, you can also be susceptible to infections. Contraception is a method used to prevent pregnancy and STIs. But did you know only 74% of teenagers use contraception? So that's where we come in to give you all the deets about what to do in the sheets. There are two main types of contraceptives, physical barriers and hormonal contraception. Physical barriers. Physical barriers physically block the sperm from meeting the egg. The most common form of physical barrier is a condom, which when placed on the penis, captures the ejaculated semen with an effectiveness of 98%. Condoms can't be reused, but they can be purchased for a relatively low price and don't need a prescription. The pill. The following form of contraceptive is hormonal. This method involves two hormones that regulate the reproductive cycle, progesterone and estrogen, and it's commonly known as the pill. The pill is an oral contraceptive taken daily to prevent the release of an egg from the ovaries each month. It also causes the thickening of the uterine mucus, stopping sperm from reaching the egg, Keep in mind that this is prescription-only medication. As long as it's taken correctly, the pill is 99.7% effective. Transdermal Hormone Patches Transdermal hormone patches also provide similar protection without the need to dose daily. Internal Contraception The next form of contraceptive is internal, including an intrauterine device, or IUD for short. IUDs look like T-shaped wires and has to be inserted into the uterus by a trained physician. They can last up to five years and can be removed earlier if need be. Emergency contraception. If you've had unprotected sex or a contraceptive method has failed, you can take the emergency contraception within 72 hours, known as Plan B or the morning after pill. It works to prevent conception and if taken within 24 hours, has a 95% success rate. Sexually transmitted infections are diseases, infections, or illnesses spread from one person to another through sexual contact. This includes all kinds of sex acts, not just full sexual intercourse, as STIs are transmitted through bodily fluids. Most STIs are relatively common, and if diagnosed early are really no big deal. But on the other hand, some STIs can have some severe and long-lasting effects on the body. Some common STIs include chlamydia, gonorrhea, genital herpes, and syphilis. Obviously, abstinence is the best defense against pregnancy and contracting an STI. And for those that choose that option, all power to you. For those who do decide to take that step, make sure you practice safe sex and be respectful of yourself and others. Although safer sex doesn't prevent you totally from contracting an STI, using protection will help you limit your risks. For example, condoms have an 85% protection rate against STIs in comparison to not using a condom. Remember, you should also get regular tests with your doctor to ensure you're clean and STI-free. This goes for the boys and the girls. Sex is a big decision, and it can have some pretty epic consequences if you aren't careful. Hopefully, you've now got a better idea of the challenges and solutions involved, and are better prepared to make more informed choices. If you found this video helpful, please leave us a like, and share it with anyone you think may be interested in this topic.
Until next time, thanks for watching.